friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's episode, we are going to discuss that the US has announced that they are going to provide the cluster bombs to the Ukraine, which the Ukraine can use against the Russians in the war against Russia. So what are cluster bombs and why the US is sending them to the Ukraine? The US has announced that it will fulfill a request from Ukraine to provide them with controversial cluster munitions. However, this decision has faced criticism from human rights groups as these weapons are banned by over 100 countries. The cluster munitions are a type of weapons that disperse numerous small explosive bomblet or wide area during the flight, typically launched from the rockets, missiles or artillery shells. While these are designed to explode upon the impact, a significant number of these bomblets fail to detonate initially, especially if they land on soft or wet ground, they fail to detonate. These unexploded bomb plates can pose a threat later on, detonating when picked up or stepped on, resulting in casualties or injuries most of the time for the civilians as well. From a military standpoint, cluster munitions can be highly effective against entrenched ground forces in fortified positions or trenches, making large area hazardous and requiring careful clearance before movement is pos possible. The reasons cluster munitions are banned by more than 100 countries including the major nations like the UK, France and Germany is due to their indiscriminate nature and the harm they cause to civilian population. The Convention on Cluster Munition and International Treaty prohibits the use and stockpiling of these weapons. Children are particularly vulnerable to injuries caused by cluster munitions as the bomblet can resemble small toys and are often picked up out of curiosity. Human rights organizations consider cluster munitions to be abhorrent and even view their use as a war crime. While both Russia and Ukraine have employed cluster munitions since Russian full-scale invasion in February 2022, neither country has signed the treaty that bans them. The US, although is not a signatory to the treaty, has criticized Russian extensive use of cluster munitions in the past. Repos reports suggest that the Russian cluster munitions have a 40% dirt rate, meaning a significant number of unexploded bomblets remain on the ground as a hazard, while the average dirt rate is estimated to be around 20%. The US Pentagon states that its own cluster bomblet have a dead rate of less than 3%. It means that only 3% of cluster bombs of the US are not successful in exploding or they fail to work properly on an impact, which is quite less proportion as compared to the Russians. So Ukraine forces are facing a severe shortage of artillery shells due to their high consumption rate in the ongoing conflict. The Russian forces are also facing the severe shortage of artillery shells. The Ukraine's Western allies are unable to replace the depleted supplies quickly enough. In the static battlefronts of southern and eastern Ukraine, artillery, artillery plays a crucial role combat the well-entrenched Russian infantry occupying the defensive trenches along 1000 km battlefront, Ukraine has requested the US to repl replenish its stock of cluster munitions. The decision has been challenging for the Washington and has encountered significant opposition from many Democrats and human rights advocates as well. The debate surrounding this issue has been ongoing for from last at least six months. The immediate consequences of the U.S. supplying cluster munitions to the Ukraine will definitely going to question the moral high grounds that the U.S. holds in this war. While Russia alleged war crimes have been extensively documented, this move by the U.S. is likely to invite accusation of hypocrisy and will involve U.S. in alleged war crimes as well. Cluster munitions are widely condemned for their indiscriminate nature and are banned in many parts of the world for valid reason. Consequently, this action by the US may strain its relationship with its Western allies and many perceived division within the alliance plays into the hands of Russian President Vladimir Putin who seeks to exploit such discord. But now it seems that the Ukraine is desperate to acquire these munitions because so far they are 
offensive operation against Russia is not successful so far and they are taking heavy losses. For example, recently we have seen that the Russia have destroyed the Leopard 2 tanks which are provided to Ukraine by the Western countries. In fact, the Russians destroyed all the Leopard 2 tanks which are provided to the Ukraine. So it seems like more of a desperate move on the part of a Ukraine to ask for such kind of munition. But it seems now, now that it is clear that the US is going to provide the cluster munitions to the Ukraine after making announcements today. So friends, this was about today's podcast. I hope you like today's podcast. To inform us about your valuable opinion in the comment box and do subscribe our channel and thank you for listening.